Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ange, if you haven't met me before, and today I thought I would do a quick little video on the plants that I've got in the past week. Today is Sunday and I did want to go plant shopping today, but I've been feeling a little bit sick for the past few days. So I've just been staying at home and trying to get better. So without further ado, let's just get into the plants that I've gotten. So I thought that I would show you the plants that I got in my recent plant shopping video. If you haven't seen it yet, I will link that up in the cards and in the description box down below. But the first plant I got is from Green Beans in Newtown and this plant has been a plant I have wanted for a very long time. But every time I see them online, they just sell out just like that so quickly. And it is this Peperomia Pink Lady. So it is still in its nursery pot. I've just put it into a little cover pot. But this is what it looks like. It's got this gorgeous variegation with the green leaves. And it is called a Pink Lady because it does throw out some pink variegation to it. You can see in the middle there, there is a little hint of pink coming through. And when I was at Green Beans, I was chatting to a lady that was working there and she was telling me that the more mature the plant gets, the more it will throw out more variegated pink and white leaves. But I'm gonna guess as well, you're gonna have to give it some bright indirect light if you're wanting it to be more variegated. I am so happy with this plant. I think it's super cute. I like that it's quite small and that I can watch it grow from such a teeny tiny baby into like a nice full bushy plant but yes this is the first plant that I got and I'm so happy with it the second plant I got was from Newtown Garden Market and this is a heart leaf fern so I know I've said like a million times I'm not a fern person but this and the crocodile fern are really the only ferns that I've seen that have like tickled my fancy I just think the leaves are so dang cute. They're just little heart shapes and the petioles are like a little bit fuzzy. And when the baby leaves come in, they come in fuzzy as well. So I just think that is so cute. I have heard that these can be quite a diva to take care of. I've seen on some Facebook groups that people like, I've just killed mine straight away. So I've kept it in my bathroom, hoping that the humidity is helping it. It hasn't died in the past week, but I obviously haven't had it long enough to know if I am able to keep this alive. So if you have any care tips for me, then definitely leave them in the comments down below. But oh my gosh, I'm just so happy with this. I have seen them before in person, but they were always really small and for like $20 and I didn't want to spend that. So I thought this was a decent price for the size and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> The next plants I got were from a recent trip to Bunnings. The first plant I got is a Philodendron Squamiferum. And I absolutely love these plants. You can see the shape of the leaf is just so unique and I just love the shape. And then they've got this hairy, hairy petiole. It's just so creepy looking. And you know me, I love creepy, weird plants. I absolutely love this. And it was super affordable as well. I think I paid like $12 for this. And you might say, Ange, you've already got a squirmy ferrum. And you would be right, I do. But I was thinking about putting the two squammies together so it can be like a nice full squammy. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan of repurchasing plants I already have to pop them into the same pot so they're nice and full. So here is my original squammy. I was thinking about just repotting them together and they're gonna look so cute and maybe giving a nice totem pole as well. So yeah, that is the plan. All right, and the next plans I have to show you, you may think I'm a little bit crazy, but there was a whole backstory to this. So if you didn't know already, at Bunnings, which is like our local big box hardware stores, you can special order plants in, especially if you know the barcode number, the nursery people can just order them in for you. And about two months ago, I special ordered four plants and I was waiting and I was waiting. And then I saw this post on like a plant Facebook group that a person had gone to my Bunnings and purchased the plant that I had ordered. So I was like, why not sucking? So I called that Bunnings and I found out that they had sold my special order. So that was about two months ago. So finally, finally, they called me and they got them in. So that was the little backstory to this plan. It has been months in the making. 
So I am now the proud owner of some Philodendron White Princess. And yes, I ordered four. Two are for me and two are for my mom. And like I said with the squammy, I'm gonna double plant them together and like make them nice and full, you know? So as I said, this is a white princess philodendron. It is very similar to your pink princess, except for pink variation, you have beautiful white variegation. These weren't the most highly variegated plants, but I was still really happy with them. I am so happy to finally have this in my collection. I've been waiting for so long. As soon as when the nursery called me, I just sent a message to Steven in like all caps being like, you have to take me to Bunnings, like now. <laughs> this is one of them. I can only hold up three at the moment, but they pretty much all look the same. Some are more variegated than others. I haven't decided yet which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm gonna give to my mom. Unfortunately, my mom is not the best at taking care of plants. Sorry, mom, I know you watch these videos, but we're gonna hope that they survive because they are absolutely gorgeous. And I am so happy to have these. I actually much prefer them to the pink princess because the leaves are like a green color and the pink princess, the leaves are just like this brownie maroon poo color. So white princess over the pink princess for me. So those are all the plants I have to show you today. Let me know which one was your favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe because I post two plant videos every single week and I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, bye.